Ptolemy believed that the Earth was at the center of the universe, that the sun and the moon and the planets like Mars went around the Earth. Supported by the church through the Dark Ages, Ptolemy's model effectively prevented the advance of astronomy for 1,500 years. Finally, in 1543, a quite different explanation of the apparent motion of the planets was published by a Polish cleric named Nicholas Copernicus. But it annoyed an awful lot of people. The Catholic Church later put Copernicus's work on its list of forbidden books. The sun, not the earth, was at the center of the universe. The earth was demoted to just one of the planets. You open the hatch and the planet earth going by your feet at five miles a second. In the middle of a spacewalk, flying around at 17,500 miles an hour or 28,000 kilometers an hour and let go of the spacecraft and just fly along with it. It's beautiful. Yeah, this is uh, Jeff on the end of the arm up there releasing uh, Mike uh, LA. We with no sensation of speed in the vacuum of space, Mike LA drifts away from the shuttle. 250 miles above the Florida Keys. I think the first instinct is amazing, massive, yet fragile thing that you're flying around. That's where you just came from. That's where everything that you know about, that have ever experienced, all lives. And you're not there anymore. The jetpack is a success. It shows how far the art of spacewalking has come since Ed White and Gene Cernan first left their Gemini capsules. <laughs>